Okay, today I'm going to show you how to, uh, to focus stack and post process, process your uh, waterfall images in minutes um, in Photoshop, of course. Um, it's extremely simple. And once you get into a routine, uh, you'll be able to uh, run right through these without a, without a problem. Um, I actually enjoy uh, the post-processing process, so I don't mind taking my time when I, own, when I have a handful of images I'm working with, but when... I have hundreds, as you can see here. Um, I like to move quickly yet efficiently. So, right here, I have two. These two photos right here. Um, with different focus points. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the one and move it into its own window. And grab, and I, I'm going to move quick here guys, so uh, pay attention. Um, I have that photo that's in its own frame here. I'm going to grab it, drag it over the other, hold down the shift key, and drop it into place. Now I can close that one out, and as you can see, let me zoom in here, um, this is one thing you definitely want to, uh, of course the, uh, the, the waterfall, uh, the, the water isn't going to line up, but all the other elements of the photo need to line up, um, otherwise this, this isn't going to work, and as you can see, Everything is uh, perfectly lined up. I'm just going to click Lighten. Um, you can use Lighten or a Screen also works. Um, though you're going to have to uh, run through a different set of uh, processing techniques. So, I blend using Lighten on the, the top layer. Let's zoom back out here. And merge down. Take this into a. Uh, Adobe Camera Raw. Um, this is exposed fairly well. Um, I'm happy with the exposure for the most part. Uh, these images, these waterfall images, you hear uh, people say shoot to the right, shoot to the right. Um, these images I like to expose to the left um, and I always keep my alert, my highlight and dark uh, shadow alert things uh, turned on here. So I'm going to bump up the vibrance. And bring the saturation up. Okay. Uh, as far as white balance goes, uh, you can see the white balance is off a bit. So, I'm just going to adjust temperature a little bit here. I 
think that'll work. Right about there. So my exposure is pretty decent. Um, we'll add a little bit of contrast. I want some of the uh, foreground down here more visible than what it is. It's uh, cloaked by shadow in the uh, the original exposure. So. To this original setting. Just want to bring the shadows out a little bit on this one. Um, now here's a, some things, uh, observations that I've uh, taken note of in processing a bunch of these images. Um, the water is usually more ex highly exposed than uh, the rest of the image. Um, you can bring some detail back into the water by dropping highlights okay um, and keeping the white level up a little bit higher but as you can see as I drop the highlights those those whites begin to pull back in um, but if we do that, with the whites we get a different effect so it's just something uh, you know you're gonna have to putz around with and set to your liking um, the black levels in this image look good a little bit of clarity back into the main uh, window of Photoshop here. Uh, where'd my layers go? Here we go. Um, I'm going to duplicate this and then go into filters, other, and go to high pass. And you're going to see what, you know, let's do this first. I'm going to go back into uh, Camera Raw here. This looks pretty clean, but uh, we're going to bump up sharpness. Sharpen this up a little bit. Don't see much noise. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of luminance in there. Bring in just the luminance rather. Okay. Now finally to uh, to really bring out the detail. In this image, you're gonna to go to filter other high pass filter. Now you're gonna do this in two steps. Um, I'm going to do almost uh, like a broad sharpening technique here. So with the high pass filter set. I'm going to go to overlay and blend this uh, side pass layer. And now you can see that there, there's a dramatic difference there. And this kind of sharpened the um, larger areas of the image, okay? Um, just going to bring the opacity down on that layer a tiny bit. 
merge it down, make another copy, and go back to filter, other high pass. Now this time I'm going to set it about 3.1 and this is just, just going to uh, affect the, uh, the, the tighter, sharper details of the image. Click overlay. The opacity just to air, flatten the image, and I'm done. That's it. That is a finished image. Um, if the high fat pass filter brings out too much noise in your image, um, which it kind of started doing to this image, so I could go back into the luminance filter. Um, if I really wanted to and blend that a little bit. They got a tiny bit of the noise, but I'm happy with this. Um, this will be, like I said, this is a finished image. It will be uploaded to uh, Shutterstock and sold to a happy customer, hopefully. Peace out.